Raki is a rich source of good carbohydrates and highly suitable for those who are gluten intolerant. Moreover, it is packed with several essential amino acids. You can skip wheat flour with ragi or oats flour in this recipe to make it total gluten free. Ragi is healthy grains, especially for babies, toddlers and kids. Ragi is loaded with calcium and protein. It is good for new mom to increase their milk production. Helps in preventing hair loss, improve weight loss and it is packed with tons of health benefits with them. Starting with the recipe, in a bowl, take 1 teaspoon coffee powder in 1 tablespoon of hot water and keep aside. This step will enhance the coffee flavor in this cake. In another bowl, add jaggery powder, coffee water and whisk well with hand whisker till jaggery dissolves completely. Next, add oil. I am adding olive oil. You can use any non-flavored oil like virgin coconut oil or sunflower oil. Then add curd and again whisk till everything combines well. In replacement of eggs, I am using curd in this recipe. Now it's time to sieve your dry ingredients, but always remember to sieve twice before adding into your wet ingredients. Now in another bowl, sieve whole wheat flour, ragi flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt and in end add cocoa powder and sieve twice and then add into your wet ingredients in portion so that everything combines well. Also you can combine 1 tablespoon of flour in chopped walnuts and even add 1.5 tablespoon of chocolate chips then add in a cake batter. See in this cake it has no refined flour, no sugar added in it. It is great for toddlers and kids as a snack box recipe. This cake is very light in texture and has perfect crumbs. You can make glaze and pour over the cake too. Many of you are thinking why I have used oil in this recipe. See oil in the cake makes it super moist and fluffy. Always remember to use flavorless oil like canola, sunflower, virgin coconut oil or virgin olive oil. Now end with adding vinegar. Here you can even use lime juice. Basically we are using this to activate our baking soda. Then transfer into tin line with baking paper or parchment paper. Top it with more walnuts and chocolate chips. Bake at 170 degrees Celsius in preheat oven for 35 to 40 minutes or till toothpick comes clean from the center. After 30 minutes, cover with foil so that top of the cake will not burn. Actually, while baking, top of the cake cook fast compared to the cake inside. So, solution is to cover the cake after a certain time. If you have not subscribed to my channel, then do like, share and subscribe and do let me know in comment section how this recipe comes out. Stay tuned.